Hi, this is Chris Murphy, Connecticut's United States Senator. Welcome to our Connecticut in the Capitol series. This short video is about the series of John Trumbull paintings in the rotunda of the United States Capitol. I hope you enjoy it. So here we are in the rotunda of the U.S. Capitol, a place where lots and lots of tour groups come because when you look up, you see the inside of the big, be beautiful, huge dome. But if you're from Connecticut, you care a lot about the rotunda because one of Connecticut's most famous painters, John Trumbull, painted four of the big, huge murals depicting aspects of early American history that are housed here in the rotunda. Behind me is the surrender of Lord Cornwallis, uh, which is an interesting painting because Cornwallis actually isn't in the painting. He didn't show up for the surrender, so what Trumbull ended up painting was the surrender of one of Cornwallis's deputies to one of Washington's deputies. You go even deeper into Connecticut history because in this painting, in addition to the surrendering general and the one who is accepting the surrender, is John Trumbull's brother, Jonathan Trumbull Jr., who is an aide to George Washington. He's one of the guys up on the horses here, and he later became, as his father was also, the governor of the state of Connecticut. The Trumbulls are pretty important to Connecticut as they are to the country. Uh, Jonathan Trumbull, the f former governor of the state of Connecticut, is one of our statues here, one of the founding father fathers of the nation. His son painted uh, the portrait behind me, and his other son later became uh, a governor uh, and speaker of the house. If you come to the rotunda here, you're gonna see these big, beautiful, wonderful paintings. And if you're from Connecticut, you can feel confident knowing that four of them are painted by one of Connecticut's most famous residents, John Trumbull.